What's up, everyone? It's your favorite commentator, Zashe, here, sitting in on a, well, technically my own battle video, but I'm not the home team in this one. Uh, fill in for Corey. So, I'm going to jump right into the battle. This is a team I prepped for really, 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 really well if he brought Zapdos, uh, and he didn't bring Zapdos. So, with that, I'm hitting play and jumping into the battle. Uh, it's not a good look for me. Spoiler alert. So, I went ahead and I led with Celesteela, because I figured he would lead with Fortress, which he did in fact, and this Celesteela is actually one of the more standard sets that I've run. Um, I'm coming with Flamethrower, hoping to go and take out this Pokemon as fast as I can. It actually did less damage than I anticipated it doing. Um, I don't think I had any special attack investment, but it's a Flamethrower against a Fortress. So this is some kind of special defense invested Fortress, which is kind of good to know. It doesn't really help because it's still too hit KO'd by anything. Um, and I switch in to take the the Volt turn that I knew was coming and it lets me set my rocks up and lets me get my sand up which is kind of helpful uh, not too helpful considering his biggest threats are Mega Scizor and Ludicolo who's gonna come in and set up his own rain which what I could have done better is just cycled through and um, prevented him from having rain or uh, prevented or had him, forced him to use turns to use up the rain. Uh, so I go into Verzeon here because it can take pretty much any special attack. It's got base 129. I knew he was going to set up Rain Dance. Um, and this gives me a chance to get in for free or set up myself if I'm able to. And the plan here, this Verzeon was built for Zapdos actually. The plan here is just to hit it as hard as I can with whatever moves I can and I get frozen with the Ice Beam. So losing my, uh, not necessarily a counter, but a check to Ludicolo was bad because later on it means I'm going to have to cycle some of my Pokemon around to just take out um, Ludicolo himself, which means they're going to take a lot more damage, which you'll see doesn't help me. Um, so here I go in to kind of get some weather control, something I should have done sooner, but I also didn't anticipate getting frozen. Um, didn't love that. So I go in, I'm going to get some chip damage with this, and I switch into my Celesteela, who again is another Pokemon that can just take a lot of hits. Um, the problem with Celesteela is it doesn't, this set particularly doesn't fire back very hard at Ludicolo, so it's really in here just to wear it down as much as I can and absorb as many attacks as I can. Um, which is a shame, because Celesteela was also my answer for Scizor, and I was forced to use it fairly early, um, earlier than I would have liked to have used it. So I go ahead and go for the Toxic, because like I said, my plan is to wear down the Ludicolo without a solid Ludicolo answer. Um, and this does significantly cut its time if it's using uh, a life orb as well as having toxic it'll cut its time here out on the field but it's still able to fire off some pretty powerful scalds um, and ice beams and everything because of the rain because of the life orb uh, when it calls a pain dude don't like it so takes poison damage I'm just wearing it down as much as I can uh, anyone but Ludicolo I was also I had prepped a little bit for Ludicolo, I was kind of planning more on Vaporeon. Um, I can't Leech Seed Ludicolo, which was a problem, it would have helped. So Heavy Slam actually does a pretty good chunk of damage. Uh, but Celesteel is sitting here nice and pretty at half health, which isn't great. Um, and so this is really where the battle takes its turn. Uh, he sends in Caesar in the rain, which is horrible for me, I don't have an answer for Caesar. What I should have done here, looking back at it, is 
known he was going to use these turns to set up, known he couldn't do anything at um, base attack to Celesteela to really do a lot of damage to it. So just fired off the flamethrower, which it still would have done a significant amount of damage. It wouldn't have okayed him or anything, but even in the rain, it would have done some damage and would have shown it was a threat and also had the 10% chance to burn and I figured if he got it on the ice beam. Uh, instead, I let his scissor get two swords dances up. Um, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do, rather, because the scissor with two swords dances is good. Is very good. Um, instead of finishing out this commentary, you can assume how it goes for me. Uh, I lose to scissor, specifically to scissor. So, I'm just gonna uh, practice the sooner a little bit. I'll play, I don't know, I'll play something sad. So that's what's going on. Thank <laughs> you. 